This is the Atomos Ninja 5. It allows you to record RAW video, specifically ProS RAW. If you follow my channel, you might have seen my tests where I compare ProS RAW with other formats of the Lumix S52X. ProS RAW is definitely the winner, but takes up a lot of space, 860 megabits per second. This means you can record four to five hours of footage on a two terabyte SSD. Atomos offers the Angelbird SSDs, but they are quite expensive. You can save costs by using this, the Andy Cine Lunchbox. As you can see here, the Andy Cine Lunchbox just covers one part of the back of the Ninja 5. The ventilation shafts are still free and exposed. You can put a 2TB SSD, the Samsung 870 EVO or QVO into your lunchbox. The EVO gives you double the amount of lifespan than the QVO. 1200TB versus 720TB. So you have 70% more lifespan. But you really need to think if this is realistic. SSDs will anyway become cheaper and better over time. Now to put the SSD into the case, we need to make sure to get a screw head tool set, which has heads out of good metal. I'm using the iFixit screw set. So I got my Samsung 870 QVO, the Andy lunchbox, and first we open the package of the lunchbox. So here, as you can see, we have here the case of the lunchbox. We have a small microfiber cloth, and some instructions and we're going to open this then we take the screwdriver and we put it into the trash this is very important since the material of the screwdriver is so bad it will deteriorate and damage the screws of your ssd so when you open the ssd and you remove the screws you won't have any warranty any we have here the ssd here we have the case of the andy cine lunchbox and now we're going to remove the SSD from this case and put it into this case. So we have here the screws on the back. First, we're looking for a proper head. So this is kind of like a star shaped head. But if the size of the screw head is like a little bit too small, you will deteriorate the head. So first we can remove this obvious screw here on the bottom left. We need those screws for later, so make sure to keep those screws. We need them for the Andy Cine lunchbox so we can fix them there onto the SSD. But if you press a little bit on the back of the SSD, you can feel where the other screws are. One screw is at the QVO symbol on the QVO SSD. The other one is below the second barcode on the bottom at the number here. So I can either use a knife or like a sharp tool here and remove then the cover here. The same I do then here on the other side. Then we have our second screw, very important here. Keep this also. And then we remove the third screw. And this one we keep also and put it away. Then we can open the back. And as you can see, this SSD is like quite tiny, like it just fills out one third of the whole case and the rest is empty. So now we're going to open the Andy lunchbox and we have here the back of the SSD. Then we're going to place then our SSD. So I'm going to take it out carefully. I place it then here upside down. And as you can see, we have here like two holes. So like on the top and on the bottom, there are two holes. And there we're gonna fix it then. So I take one of the screws, screw it on, but uh, a bit light. And then I take the second screw. And then I fasten the screws a little bit more, but make sure not to tighten them too strong. Before we close the SSD case, we're gonna attach a heat pad. This heat pad has two folds on each side. So you have to make sure that after you cut it into the right shape, that you remove the foil from it. So I have to cut kind of like here a little bit off and then we have the other part here so we have our L shape and now I'm going to remove the foil from it first on one side then I put it on top here and then I remove the foil from the top now we take the top part of the Andy's in the lunchbox and we're going to screw it on so it goes on top like this and this tool here is fine so you can use it without being too worried so i'm going to place my screws and carefully tighten them not too much just a little bit so they are in place
I know I fixed them a bit more. Not too much, just so they are hand tight. Now you can put your SSD into your Atomos Ninja 5. As you can see, the ventilation gaps are not covered. If this was helpful for you and you could save some money, please subscribe and leave a like. See you in the next video with more awesome tips.